welcome PML fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and with me I got badass Frost Lass, coach of the Indiana yeah. Tracers. Yo, what's up PML fan? You can call me Matt, Matthew, Frost Lass, whatever you want. <laughs> Alright Matt, uh, did you get what you wanted for your first pick? Uh, yeah, I had the first overall pick so it made it a little bit easy to get what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> I actually had a lot of different things that I really wanted to try out because, you know, it's not every time that you get an early pick and, you know, you get to actually decide what you want. Mm-hmm. But I figured Dragapult's just one of those mods that always seems to go first or second overall, so I figured this is really my only chance to ever get to use it. Other Pokemon that I love to use, like Celestia, Kartana, that type of stuff, they usually, you know, can drop in other leagues, so I figured this was the one time I'd get a chance to use Dragapult. I feel you. And, uh... Uh, let let the people know now. Are you gonna go physical or special? Uh, so I'm a real sucker for setup. So it's probably gonna be physical most of the time, just because it gets Dragon Dance, and I don't think it gets any real good setup for the special side of it. Mm-hmm. But it also really helps because you know Max Phantasm it drops physical defense. That also helps physical set. So if I plan on Dynamaxing, it'll probably be physical. But uh, I do love a nice, like, Specs Hex set, Specs Shadow Ball set, so, you know, there's possibilities of both. Oh, yeah, there's certainly variety when it comes to Dragon Ball. Absolutely. That's why I love it. All right. Well, how did you feel about your overall team? Uh, so, I'm going to be pretty honest with you. I, uh, I didn't take the draft super seriously. I, uh, I have two different real styles when it comes to drafting, and, uh, I, I try to uh, have more fun with my drafts whenever they're not on the, uh, the draft league site mm-hmm. like this one because I feel like I have to like I have to keep my rating up and everything when I'm on the draft league site and it gets kind of stressful. So I appreciate having a league where I can kind of just do whatever I want, have some fun Pokemon, and try a strategy that I don't think I could ever pull off with a super serious league that I was taking. But in a league like this where I'm comfortable just you know having a good time, not worrying about my record, I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Oh yeah, it's going to be certainly different, different atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. Well, even though you were having fun losing the team, did you uh, get any snipes on you? Uh, so the one that I was real upset about was I think Ryan took. Uh, yeah, he took Weezing. I really wanted one of the Weezings. I wanted a good Poison type, and uh, I really wanted like Toxic Spikes and that type of stuff. Uh, I did actually make a transaction. I dropped a Vile Plume for Quillfish. Mm-hmm. But uh, I really wanted Weezing just because I love like Will-O-Wisp, Toxic Spikes, and I really wanted to try out Neutralizing Cast because I haven't really gotten a chance to use that, and it looks like a ton of fun. Yeah, I saw you pick Vile Plume, and I was like, oh, man, thank goodness he didn't pick Roserade. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I was hoping that would I fall. wanted a Grounded Poison, but I really needed some bulk on my team at that point. And uh, I feel like Rosary is just more offensive, and I've always I've always struggled to use it well in that regard because I, I never run it offensively. I always find like I need to use it for like spikes and toxic spikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that was one season I actually used the uh, choice scarf spikes. It was interesting. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've done that with a uh, Heracross in the past. There's a look ahead for you guys because I, I have Heracross this season, and I've brought scarf spikes before in the past. Yeah, that's always an interesting set to throw people off. Oh, absolutely. I've run a, another Pokemon that I love to run, Scarf, that I have for this season is Gallade. I know I've used it before in a league where I brought a Scarf Gallade that had Taunt and will o so it only had two attack moves, and that was a ton of fun to use. That is very interesting, but also <laughs> very heat tech. Um, I try and get creative. What's the, what's the favorite Pokemon on your team right now that you drafted? Well, I got Lantern, and that's always my favorite draft league Pokemon, but I also picked Igglybuff, and it looks like a joke pick, but I've genuinely picked up Igglybuff in the past before, and it's just a lot of fun to use. No one ever expects you to actually bring it, so whenever you do, it'll catch people off guard. Uh, It's actually got a really nice typing and a good move pool, so uh, I think people will be surprised by how much I bring Igglybuff. So without... uh, I know you're not going to spoil it too much, but what, what can Igglybuff do that people should be afraid of? So, it's got all kinds of good status moves. Everything that, you know, Wigglytuff is known for, it also gets. So, like, I can still run, like, Wish and that type of stuff on an Igglybuff and pass them off. And, you know, it's not quite as big as a Wigglytuff Wish, but it's still got a base 90 HP. So, it's still passing really fat Wishes off and that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of people were also asking, uh, why not Jigglypuff instead? 
Uh, so I actually drafted Igby Buff in a previous league one time, and it's because my team was the Indianapolis Igby Buffs, mm -hmm. and so it was kind of just a mascot pick that I was messing around with, and so I figured, you know, we'll honor that tradition and pick up Igby Buff again. Because I think Wigglytuff was still free at the time, too. Yeah, but... Wigglytuff was as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everyone Igly was Buff... like, typo? <laughs> yeah, I'm attached to Igby Buff. I've, uh, I've had good results with it in the past, and, uh, you know, it's just something funny. I think it's fun to use. And, uh, and if it ever gets a kill, it'll just make it that much sweeter. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'm sure you'll probably surprise us in one week and make it be the MVP of the hey, week. Hey, it gets competitive just keeping that in mind. Uh, maybe convince people not to run sticky webs against me with a competitive Igly buff. Very true. Uh, <laughs> you you did say you already made the trade of Bioplume for uh, Quillfish. Is there, yep. any, is there any other plans you're trying to make on uh, changes you're planning to make on your team? Uh, nothing that jumps out super big. I don't love that I have. Uh, so I'll get, I'll give you my entire uh, draft plan this uh, season. I just thought it'd be really funny to draft as many super fast Pokemon as I could, mm -hmm. and so I kind of just went through and just picked the fastest Pokemon I could find in each tier because I thought that'd be really fun. Just you know, have a Pokemon. Go real fast, hit hard, let it die, just bring in the next one, you just keep doing that over and over again. Yeah. And so uh, the one that I kind of doubled up on was a Line Noon and Weavile. That's two four times fighting weaknesses that I don't super love. But in tier five, you know, you're not going to find anything super crazy. And I really like Galarian Line Noon just for like parting shot and that type of stuff. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's the one bit of overlap that I don't love. But beyond that, I'm really happy with the team overall. It looks like it's going to be a ton of fun to use. So you're already saying that you want to go tit for tat in every battle. How do you plan on making this team work? So I'll tell everyone right now, I'm going to play super offensive and super aggressively. Uh, I'm totally willing to just sack Pokemon off. If it'll get me into a position where I can set up a different Pokemon or start sweeping with another Pokemon. I did get a little bit less uh, set up than I usually would draft, which is unfortunate for like this style of team. But I think I've got plenty. I think I've got a couple of Swords Dance Pokemon. Uh, Dragon Dance, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, and um, you do have a bunch of fast Pokemon, but for a Mon like Heracross, you don't really have much to set up its uh, speed to rank over other opponents. How do you plan You may on think that, but, uh, that? so I actually had Heracross in the, uh, Season 2 of the TPL. It was a Pokemon I'd never used before, mm -hmm. and, uh, I wasn't interested but it ended up being my main sweeper because every week i would just run guts and then it gets aerial ace so i could just max airstream get my speed up and then it's just a terrifying threat at that point oh gee so it does have a way of speed boost all right yeah it does prove me wrong not everyone's expecting that <laughs> all right man well um are you no, it's, it's aerial ace no one's really looking at that when you're looking here across very true you're like eh, it's only 60 base power uh <laughs> Are you surprised by a Pokemon that wasn't picked by anybody? Ooh, there were some that was happening. Uh, let me look at it real quick, because I do remember, I thought Dracovish would go at some point. I feel I like Dracovish too. is just a I classic Pokemon that everyone sees. Uh, I think the Pokemon that I really wanted to use, that uh, I thought was the best Pokemon in the draft, is actually Naganado. Mm -hmm. But I understand, because you know, it can't Dynamax, so I understand why people wouldn't draft it. But I think that was absolutely the best Pokemon available in the draft. And so I was really surprised that no one took that one as well. Yeah, earlier this year, uh, I mean, Jesse was drafting for the Rillaboom. Uh -huh. And, and uh, Jesse's actually one of our drafters from earlier this year. And he won the oh, yeah? championship with Naganado. Yeah, that thing, because that's, I think that might be like the only Ubers Pokemon here besides like Dracovish and Darmanitan. It's... It's easily up there in the Ubers tier with that special attack and speed stat combined with, along with the fact that nothing can switch into it safely. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but you as much as me is pretty glad that it's not around on, on any on any opponent. Oh, absolutely. Team for sure. Although I guess I had the one dragon that is faster than it, so you know I wouldn't have <laughs> minded having to face it. <laughs> All right. Well, you've looked over the teams a little bit. Uh, what what division rival do you think gives you the hardest time? So the team that I was looking at that I really like, so looking at my team, I realized I have a pretty big Rillaboom weakness, so that one's not going to be fun to face at all. But uh, I think the scariest team just overall in my conference is probably the uh, the Filipino Ferrothorns. Mm -hmm. 
I think uh, Reb did a really good job building his team, and uh, I'm also a sucker for trappers. I have Dope Trio. He has got the tell, so that one should be a lot of fun when we go up against each other. Definitely. And one quick question: Since you do nope. have a bunch of fast mons that like to hit hard, uh, typically those struggle against bulkier teams. How do you think you'll fare against that? Yeah, so my strategy against those is just to set up. I've got Dragon Dance, Dragapult, Swords Dance on Weavile, Heracross, Gallade. So, like, I've got ways to bust through things. Uh, I will struggle with some of the physically bulky Pokemon, but there aren't too many of them. And Dugtrio is super good at removing if a person has one defensive threat, say. Okay. I think, I don't know if someone... I don't remember where Toxapex landed. I don't know if it's in my uh, conference or not, but that's a, a great example of like a Pokemon that would normally be super problematic for my team. But with Dugtrio, you know, you can just send it in, immediately Earthquake it, and they can't do anything about it. It's super helpful. Yeah, Toxapex just landed in your division with the 8th pick. Oh, yeah, perfect. So, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> an example of like something that I would be scared of normally, but I can handle a lot more easily with uh, Arena Trap. Oh yeah, man, and certainly you still have your bulkier mons, not just all fell out out uh, glass cannon. So yeah, setting absolutely. up won't be a problem for you. Hopefully not. I'm not sure how bulky Galarian Lightning is. I haven't really used it before, but hopefully that can be a nice defensive pivot for me with the the parting shot. Oh yeah. Alrighty, man. Well, if there's anything else you want to say to the fans before we go. Ooh. Uh, y'all better be supporting the Tracers, uh, coolest team in the Kanto division, and, uh, I'll see y'all for week one. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Well, thank you for joining us tonight, and we will see you guys next time. Alright, thank you. See y'all.